Hello again, you extraordinary, extraordinary subscribers. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. A lot going on here, guys, at the North American offices of Hemingway Land. Had a big milestone sale recently, number one. Number two, plans in the works, places we'll be buying properties at, listing properties. Changes coming to the business, changes coming to the YouTube channel in the weeks and months ahead. Many things to discuss, and yet, people, we will be discussing zero of those things this week. Going to keep the job owning to a minimum, because instead, we are going to get to the thing which we have not done for regrettably some time, and that is special thanks. Special thanks to all our valued customers. Oh, people, special thanks. It has been a while, guys. It's been a hot minute since we have done this. We were otherwise consumed with our uh, Rio del Oro bulk acquisition, and then all the videos we were doing were clocking in at a minimum of like 20 minutes, so we didn't want to extend any of them. The point, people, the point, is it's been about five weeks. What I'm about to do is about five weeks of sales, starting off in New Mexico. More specifically, Taos County sold some land to Juan Braden. And then returning customers, Hemingway Land, All Stars, all of them, Noah, Gwen, James, and Tia. Special thanks to all of those fine and delightful people. In Valencia County, sold some land to Jackie, Carlo, Earl, and Brian. Returning customer, Brian. Special thanks to them. In Socorro County, sold some land to Andrew, Daniel, and Justin. They all picked up properties in Rio Grande Estates. And then Shane bought that big $10,000 property that we had out there in Valle de Manana. Paid it quickly, paid it painlessly, paid it effortlessly via credit debit card. Shane didn't need to go through a title company. Special thanks to all those people, but especially our new buddy, Shane. And now, people in New Mexico, we're about to highlight a county that in seven years we have only ever highlighted two times before... Today becomes the third in Chavez County, where we sold that property whose, let's say, appeal I dramatically overestimated way back in 2021. Sold that one to Araceli. She picked up that property out there outside Roswell, so special thanks to her. Moving north now, guys, into Colorado. Sold some land in Costilla County, more specifically the Sangre de Cristo Ranches, the ever-popular Sangre de Cristo Ranches to Kimmy and Sam. Special thanks to them. And down in Huerpano County, sold some land out there by the lake. My God, this one was on the website 14 months, about 13 and a half months longer than I expected. Sold that one to Jackie. Special thanks to her. Now, people, before we continue on in the special thanks segment of this video, let me say this. So there's a bunch of properties on the website that were purchased around like 20, late 2021, early 2022 that I looked at and I said, oh my God, these are great. These are going to be fantastic. These are going to be fantastic as we enter new markets People are going to love these. These are going to fly off the shelves. And then, funny thing happened. Russia invaded Ukraine. Gas prices spiked. With them went global inflation past what it had already been at. Uh, interest rates went to their highest. And uh, some things have been sitting on the website longer than we originally anticipated. For instance, guys, up in Nevada, sold some land in Humboldt County. Properties we listed back in 2022 to Cody and Darien, as well as Trent. Special thanks to them. And by the way, guys, only four properties left in Humboldt County. We started with like 14. We're down to four. So there you go. And in Nye County, more specifically Pahrump, Ronald bought a really good property out in Country View Estates, like a half acre of land, corner lot, utilities, so on and so forth. I thought it was really exceptional. Would sell quickly years ago when we bought it. Ronald picked it up. Special thanks to Ronald. And it should be noted, guys, with the rapidly appreciating prices of real estate in the southern nevada market uh, perump it's a good time to buy and finally guys moving on to arizona do you remember arizona guys we used to sell properties here pretty easily before the aforementioned michigas it's been a little been a little difficult in recent years whatever the case in pima county returning customer really one of the hemingway land all-stars jason jay bought uh, some property from us down there so special thanks to jay Special thanks to all of our recent buyers in the normal states and the states we rarely sell land in, so on and so forth. All much appreciated. With all that said, guys, let us finally now get to this week's new property. All right, people, going live on the site today, we are back in Southern Colorado's Costia County, back with the High Plains Desert of the San Luis Valley meets the foothills of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And if you're not yet tired of hearing me say that, Chestnut, you will eventually tire of it in the months ahead, for as noted in previous videos, we intend to buy as many properties out here as we can, specifically, guys, in the Sangre de Cristo Ranches subdivision. 
Now, I will have you guys know in the short time that we've been buying out here, we've gotten a lot of interest, a lot of positive feedback from you about these properties, and we have even sold a few of these properties. I will, however, note that there is a noticeable difference in interest in properties that have power versus the ones that do not. And as we have discussed in previous videos, power does not extend all throughout the subdivision, but is instead only located in certain areas up and down certain roads. And thus, people, thus, we have chosen to sharpen our already laser-like focus even more to bring you properties in this region, such as the one we have today, this 5.7 acre corner parcel with power at the lot line for the low, low price of a mere $18,000. Let's go to the map. So, as noted in previous videos, the Sangre de Cristo Ranches sits just outside Fort Garland, occupying all the land you see here. Today's property is located in the southwestern end of the subdivision, just east of Highway 159, and more specifically here, where Stevenson Road and Michaels Road meet. And if we go to the photos, we can see that like the rest of the subdivision, these are county-maintained roads in excellent condition, and that there are, in fact, residential power lines running up and down Stevenson's Road all along the eastern boundary of the property. And what else can we learn from looking at the photos? Well, we can see that there is a developed home site of some significance located to the south of the land, and that someone is using their land for recreational purposes with this camper parked on the property to the north. In addition, the subject property has a slight pitch to it, with its highest elevation being at the eastern boundary, which means you'll have some nice views of the surrounding San Luis Valley. And like most of the land in this region, you'll also have some stunning views of both Mount Lindsay and Blanca Peak, both of which flank the property to its north. Now, as we can see from the photos, this one does appear to have more vegetation, or more overgrown vegetation, I should say, than we normally see. So, it's probably a little more involved in clearing the land, but that, of course, is to be expected with any property you buy out here. And, of course, one of the major selling points of this region is that the Mountain Home Reservoir is located within the Sangre de Cristo ranches, and thus you will have private access to the lake and all its many boating and fishing opportunities. And of course, when it comes to zoning and how the land can be developed, this property as well as all the land in this subdivision is zoned ER or estate residential, meaning you can build a house that looks like this or this or this or this or this. And given the range of what we're seeing out here, it suggests to me that as long as it's up to code, you're given a lot of leeway on how you choose to develop the land. Of course, there are covenants in this sub, and as always, guys, they can be found on the listing page under the Zoning and Restrictions tab. And if you click on this link, you can review them at your leisure, but the long and the short of it is they're not terribly strict, with the only real building stipulation being that single-story structures can be no less than 600 square feet in size, and two-story structures can be no less than 800. And as is to be expected, once you begin construction, you've got a time of 12 months in which they'd like that construction completed. And finally, it's worth noting that there is no HOA out here, meaning no organization which has any say over how you develop the land, or any organization shaking you down for money every month. Always nice not to have to deal with that. In closing, guys, this one's a good one. Marginally bigger lot than is the norm out here. Corner lot, power at the lot line, which should make it easier to develop. And as always, some very nice views of the surrounding valley. If, people, if, however, this one doesn't do it for you, you can always view what else we have available in this sub by checking out our Sangre de Cristo Ranches Master Information page and coming down here to our list of available properties and visiting their respective listing pages one by one. Or, as always, guys, by subscribing to the channel to be alerted for when we debut new listings in this and other desirable regions. New properties hit every Friday. We're making an effort to buy a lot out here, and this is always the first place those properties will be discussed. So if you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, do so. Too sweet. With all that said, going live on the site next week, we'll be back with some of the final Rio del Oro properties, most notably some of the larger lots in Zone 5. As noted in the previous video, guys, you'll recall, our photographer had a family emergency, could not finish them all in August, and thus, people, thus... We are just now getting photos for some of the remaining 14 lots. The larger lots, the ones out by the mountains in Zone 7 and Zone 8. In short, things you'll want to tune in next week to see. In the meantime, guys, if early voting is started in your state, number one, I'm jealous. Number two, don't forget to vote. We'll see you back here in seven days in our next video.